Threat of violence sending panic through the Boulevard Mall after a masked man rushes in, brandishing what turned out to be a fake gun. Yeah, and just the sight of that, especially in this day and age, it's understandable. That was enough to terrify shoppers and workers and force the evacuation of the Boulevard Mall. Tonight, the suspect's mother is talking to our Antonio Castellan about her son. He joins us live from the mall. Marie, the Boulevard Mall is back open. The mother of the 25-year-old says that she didn't know that her son was arrested until we contacted her. She says that her son didn't mean to scare anyone. Oh, wow. Well, no, he told me something happened, but he said it was somebody else that looked like him or something. Erica Johnson, the mother of 25-year-old Emil Hobson, tells us from her home in Chicago that this was the first she was hearing about her son in jail. Johnson says she was on the phone with her son last night as police were looking for him. Metro investigators say Thursday night, Hobson went into the Boulevard Mall with a mask and pointed a fake rifle towards small customers. Johnson says her son suffers from bipolar disorder and is manic depressive. I don't know if he's been taking his medicine. Uh, he's staying with his girlfriend out there, so I don't think he's been taking his medicine. He's been in and out the mental hospital. When Johnson tells us her son moved to Las Vegas a year ago looking for work. She believes Hobson was working at a shoe store inside the Boulevard Mall. Last night, Johnson says her son told her his girlfriend kicked him out of her apartment. Johnson believes the threat of homelessness may have driven her son off the edge. That I love him and um, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I've been afraid for him, so uh, if he do go to jail, I'll know where he's at. I don't have to be worried and stressed. This mugshot taken in Chicago shows Hobson has been in trouble with the law before. Illinois court records show in 2014, Hobson was arrested for domestic battery. Last night, mall patron Kelvin Bayeka says he thought Hobson looked like a delusional individual in need of help. Telling people, get out, get out, right? So people started like freaking out because the guy was carrying a gun. Police determined the gun was a fake and found Hobson at a nearby apartment where they arrested him. Johnson says it hurts her that she does not have the finances to be in Las Vegas right away to help her son. She stresses Hobson needs help. So that's what he needs, his medicine. He needs to get to a mental hospital. Hobson is facing a charge of uh, committing a act of terrorism. He's at the Clark County Detention Center with no bail. He's expected to appear before a judge Monday morning. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3.